All right, guys. Um, this is this is Divine Journey Two, the uh, long, long, long-awaited follow-up to Divine Journey, a pack that I've never played, but it seems like it's really good, and maybe I'll play it sometime in the future after this one. But um, this is the sequel which is pretty cool. Uh, this is the first thing that I'm recording at college, actually. I haven't done any recording in the last couple of weeks. I've been kind of dealing with moving in and all that kind of stuff. Hopefully videos will get more regular soon, except you'll be seeing this video way, way, way in the future um, because basically I'm going to pre-record a ton of episodes here and then we will see what happens. Uh, let me change some of my controls really quickly and I'll be right back. So I've gone ahead and changed a couple of things, the things that I like to uh, use for my own personal keys because they are quite different from the default modded Minecraft. And uh, yeah, this is going to be our home. It's an island, but we spawned with no trees. So I'm gonna have to go find some trees. That's what our first day is gonna be about. Um, this is a, you know, obviously a questing pack and it's been in, I think it's been in production for multiple, multiple years, and it has a lot of mods, and it has a lot of very cool features. Um, I think we even have like a bunch of dimensional mods, like the Erebus and all that kind of stuff, which is super cool. We also have crabs, apparently. Crabs are always very, very cute. Hello. Uh, but let me hopefully find an island with a tree, and then I'll uh, head back home. Oh, did I hit you? Hopefully find an island, and then head back home. Maybe I can eat some of these crabs along the way. Maybe not. I'll eat some rice, I suppose. Um, and we can get started with some of the quests because there are, I believe, 1,600 quests in this quest book, which is insane. Look, these are all the beginning quests, and we have all the... Holy crap, that's way more chapters than I thought. And there's so many of them. That's crazy. Okay, I'm going to go find wood. And here we go. Looks like we found at least a little bit of land. Maybe it's actual proper like continent land. Not entirely sure, but uh, I I don't know. I, I might stay out in the water just so I'll have more place to build and we will be safe because I will be able to control literally every single place something can spawn. But um, oh, we have, oh, we have Bewitchment in this pack. I, I'm, I'm playing through Bewitchment right now in Celestial Journey, which if you didn't know is like a basically fan creation of uh, someone who really loved the first Divine Journey. This is like the official mod pack. The same guy who made the first one is making this one. Um, uh, but it also has Bewitchment and it's not very fun because it requires a lot of automation and um, you can't really automate it super well because your altars aren't as powerful as you kind of want them to be. But as you can see we do also have Excavate in this pack which is super super nice and we have Flower Island right here which actually might become my home. We will see. Um, hmm. Oh, it looks like we also have Astral Sorcery, which is really cool. I haven't played with Astral Sorcery in a very long time, so that'll be really fun. And here's something I actually expected to be left out of this pack, Divine RPG. Um, I, I don't think it went over very well with a lot of people in Celestial Journey, so I thought it'd get like removed and reworked for this pack. Um, it was in the original one, I'm pretty sure, but eh. Whatever. Maybe it'll be better in this one. Oh, this is just a big island. Actually, I think I'm going to live here. This would be kind of chill. Apparently, we have stuff to do before we actually make a crafting table, which is kind of insane. Uh, the pickaxe recipe has been changed uh, with Content Tweaker. So now that's how we make a wooden pickaxe. That should complete... I never held the wooden pickaxe head in my inventory. That... Uh, that should complete... That quest gives me a little bit of oak wood. I'm not going to actually get it. We need to grab some cobblestone, maybe some coal, and then we can eventually get over here to making the crafting table, which I assume requires... Oh, man. Oh, man. That's aggressive. All right. All right, here we go. There's the stone pickaxe head, and I probably have enough cobblestone to just make everything. Uh, we have this underground... Actually, let me make a couple of torches. Uh, we have this very cool underground biomes mod, which adds a bunch of different like types of stone. I'm not sure if they're replaceable with the normal stone, though, so we might have to look for our somewhat rare stone deposits. And uh, I'm going to get a little bit more coal, because you never know when you're going to need things. Um... We also have a bunch of different ores in this pack. Uh, I think this is just, you know, standard, uh, what is the standard ore? Standard copper, standard iron. It all comes from, like, 
thermal? Is it thermal? I think it's thermal. This is all like the standard thermal, but it uh, textures to match near it, which is really quite cool. Um, I found some stone up over here that I can just mine, I think. Well, since we have the stone, we can now just kind of craft stuff up, and there is the crafting table. I can't believe it actually eats the uh, wooden pick or the stone pickaxe and the stone axe. It's kind of obnoxious. Also, I thought I had a way to get out over here. Apparently not. All right, we're back, and it's morning now. I also started lighting up the island because, uh, like I said, I want to control every single spawn space in the region because I don't want things to kill me like they did in Celestial Journey for forever. Uh, anyways, let's craft one rough hammer because the quest book says so. I don't know what I'm doing with it yet, but we probably just need to go mining. Um, I also need clay, gravel, and sand. Do I have easier recipes for these, actually? I did not check. We do, which is sick. So I can do this now, and I can do a shovel, I suppose. And then I'll just do, you know, we'll just make all the normal tools. Axe. And I don't make swords, so I'm not making a sword. Before I can properly go mining, and I do have to go mining to make chests because they all require iron nuggets, which is obnoxious, um, I do need some food, which is going to be, I think, rice for the time being. One, because it provides you one satcher, or one um, hunger haunch down there, and uh, they're very easy to farm because I got some bone meal, and um, you can eat them incredibly quickly. So 26 should be enough to keep me going for the moment. Uh, we're not going to need the extra seeds, and I'll, I'll plant some wheat over here so we can get wheat farms going, and eventually I'll probably just expand these out further so we can get more food. I feel like this is the type of pack where we're going to be in the Stone Age for, uh, for a bit. A bit might be an understatement, but for a bit. Um, and I'm going to go find some iron so we can make some chests. So I think what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to whack it? Um, torch? It says smack. Maybe that is uh, just a... Oh no, uh, I have barely enough stone material to make another one of these. Bad. Oh, you can't mix and match. Rip. Oh my god, the first few pieces of iron are just pain and that only you oh my goodness okay this pack's really screwing you from the start i i hope this isn't going to like literally kill me i hope this isn't the pack that ends my entire life um this will turn into i believe five pieces of iron and we need to make something called burning essence which will will throw into water for fluid item transport transformation um and this is yellow dye and coal. Uh, also, it's about to get nighttime, which is just so cool. So, there we go. Five burning essence. Where's my rough iron mesh? And we should just be able to do this and this, and it will turn into five iron ingots. Okay, perfect. Uh, we need to use the first four of these to make iron rods and get ourselves a furnace so we can just smelt ore directly, get a one-to-one -one ratio, and it's going to require a little bit of crafting. And there's the furnace. Perfect. Uh, now we can smelt things, and I can just go ahead and smelt this other piece of iron, which we will then promptly use to make 8 billion chests, as long as I have the wood for it. Hopefully, uh, 12? 12 chests should be quite good. Just, I mean, I can't make 12. I can make uh, 9. Let's just make 9. That'll be... Why well, didn't... Okay. Uh, I this pack might still be a little buggy. It's in entirely new. It's like just came out a couple days ago, so we might have some issues, but hopefully they won't be too numerous, and we should be able to go through the pack quite smoothly. And there we go. Now we have some storage for our items. So, as the night turns today, and I kind of started sorting our items, I thought we might as well take a look at what the pack has in store for us, like what we actually need to accomplish in this pack. Um, and I got this item at the beginning, the Bag of Truth. It's something you spawn with. This is the end goal of the pack, I suppose. It says, um, requires a key of infinity open. This is the entire goal of the mod pack, and it is craftable if we lose it. I'm going to try not to lose it. I'll put it in my, um, my valuables chest, which currently holds one iron ingot and 36 coal. A um, little sad, but that's okay. Uh, and the, the key to infinity is a little expensive. Um, it's that in the extreme crafting table. It's probably 20 blocks of infinity, which are 
uh, maybe 180 infinity ingots, let's say, which are made in the crucible, which is just lovely. We love that. Um, which are made from infinity catalysts, which are made from all of this stuff. You have like ultimate stew, which is witches cauldrons. Okay, we have auto infusion matrixes. Okay, it looks like they um they made sure to make Thomcraft not make you want to die like it does in Celestial Journey. Um, but still, geez. We got a lot of stuff to do. Liquid Witchcraft, Witch's Oven. Ooh, terrible recipe, terrible recipe. I hate it, but we can automate it like this. Yeah, that's what the pack's looking like. Anyways, why don't we move on to something slightly more fun? Click and let's make some patterns. Hopefully they're just standard. They're not standard. Nothing in this rest, nothing in this pack standard. I don't know why I expected anything standard. Jeez, I need to go get more iron. Okay, so I think now it's time to get into Tinkers so we can get some better tools. And to start us off, we're going to need the tool station. Also, I, I did make a bunch of these blank patterns. We only get one, two, which is just so obnoxious. Uh, anyways, tool station, part builder, and then we need a pattern chest, which should just be like this. And uh, there's one more, stencil table, right? Do we not need the stencil table? We do, I just forgot to pin it. And the recipe is incredibly easy, just like that. And I can also optionally make this part chest, which I, I have the extra chest for it, I thought. I guess I don't, but I can, I'm gonna make it really quick. And there we go. Okay, so with these guys, we can set them up I don't know, right here should be good for now. Uh, how do I like to set this up? Tool station, and then we have the part chest, I think. And then we do a part builder, pattern chest, stencil table. And these pattern chests will be shared between the stencil table and the part builder. So, you know, everything works just perfectly. And let's go ahead and, and check. Uh, also, there are quest rewards for all of these that I assume we'll probably want to grab in just a moment. Um, let's see what they want us to do with all of this. Apparently nothing yet. Maybe we can just choose our own tools. There's not they're not there's not gonna be any forcing in this one. Alright, it's uh, been a couple days since I recorded, but I went ahead and did a Tinker's Stone Pickaxe, Tinker's Stone Matic, and a bunch of stone sharpening kits, and I'm gonna go mine some materials so we can get a little initial, like, bonus materials to kind of try and finish this entire first chapter of things by the end of the video, because that's kind of the goal I have, get to, uh, into Totanic, Totem, Totemic, Totemic in the next episode. Actually, I realize, um, I don't have enough food to properly go mining, especially with Vein Miner, so I went ahead and grabbed some sand, gravel, and clay, and we're smelting up some seared bricks. This also means we get some quest rewards over here that I can apply to my tools and make them slightly better, which is actually super, super cool. Tool station, uh, I'll probably put the bronze rod on here. This should give me more durability. Yep, 131 durability. And it shouldn't use a modifier. And this gives me extra durability. Blocking and getting hurt deals damage to the attacker. Your stone is bad. Lasts longer when it has less durability. Sounds good to me, and we'll just add the flint head to that. Perfect. Um, so, now that I've got a bunch of grout, I should slowly be able to get into Tinker's Construct. I need to craft up all these things, and then find some lava, and, you know, get food going and properly go mining. Okay, everyone here has seen me build a smeltery before, so I, I just kind of built it. I even decorated a little bit, it's kind of nice. What is- why was there blood there? What? Oh, I might have died there. Uh, I might have killed myself because I ran out of food. Uh, anyways, uh, smeltery here, I made it a little bit decorative. I might make it a very tall smeltery and, you know, make, it, make this a fancy little building, but for now we just kind of have that and it exists and eventually I'll build a house because I am going to uh we're probably in this one for the long run we're probably in divine journey 2 for the long run I think this is going to be a very, very slow pack uh, probably 30 40 episodes so let's uh get to work I need to make a portable tank to grab some more lava but before we do that we should have just enough iron in order to make an iron pickaxe which will allow me to just kind of use that iron pickaxe for everything it wants me to make an alamite pickaxe which is aluminum, iron, and obsidian, al obsidian alloy, which I think we might be able to manage. But for now, we'll just kind of live off the iron pickaxe and... Ooh, uh, can I make a little bit of aluminum brass so I can make 
some casting plates. Uh, I got the pickaxe one from one of the quests, but um, one second. I was actually able to pull together the aluminum brass, so now I have a three iron sharpening kits for my pickaxe. So let me uh, go get some lapis, I think, because I want to make the portable tank. Okay, so about one mining expedition later, I've set up the automation for this seared faucet, and I'm processing some of my iron through it right now. Um, and I got my portable tank filled with lava, filled up these two tanks, and next step is that alumite pickaxe. Uh, I just kind of jumped here because I didn't think you kind of want to watch the boring stuff. Let's, so let's do the fun stuff. Um... This is not like a super exact science, I don't think, uh, alloying this stuff up because it's 2 to 2 to 5, which is difficult to do because the obsidian ratio is weird. It's not 144 millibuckets per obsidian. I believe it is 250 per obsidian. 280. Oh, it's double. Okay, usually it's 250. Oh, I'll take it. Never mind. It's a perfectly exact science in this pack. I put one piece of obsidian here, so one bucket of lava into the seared drain, one bucket of water into the seared drain. Uh, I had two pieces of iron and five pieces of aluminum, and I made exactly three alumite ingots, which means I should be able to... If I apply a redstone signal list, does it turn off? It looks like the answer to that is yes, uh, and now I should just be able to swap this out for my pickaxe head cast. Cast out a um, alumite pickaxe head and then we can mine diamond level stuff like obsidian, or um, obsidian level stuff like obsidian. Um, I don't, I guess some of the uh, divine RPG ores are obsidian mining level, but nothing important right now is obsidian mining level. Oh, that was a complete mistake. Let me put this on the bottom and I'll cast it out. You don't have to watch. Any second now, there's the alumite pickaxe and it's magnetic level two. I think this is magnetic level Oh, it's also magnetic level two, but it's uh, cooler, I guess. Uh, hopefully this raises the durability quite a bit. Ooh, wait, it's cobalt mining level. That's perfect. Okay, so it brings it up to 672, um, which means I'm not actually going to put a diamond on this to raise the durability and waste that um, level or uh, modifier, because we still have three modifiers on this. I could actually throw some redstone on here, I think. That would probably be a good bet. Throw 50 resident on there. Bring it up to mining speed of 11 from 5. That would be perfect because things are a little bit slow to mine in this pack. Everything just has a has like a slightly higher hardness, I think, than vanilla. But yeah, who knows? So next things next. I do want to make a backpack, but I guess we should go. Oh my god. That's a lot of obsidian. I guess I'll go mine a lot of obsidian. But uh, like the quest book says, it is quite easy with Vein Miner to get a lot of obsidian. There's already three stacks and some change, and we should be able to finish up this. Ooh, I will make these 100%. We should be able to finish up this quest book pretty, pretty soon, and that will be getting us into a totemic. And I th think I just about have everything for this. Okay, one, two, three, and ooh, wrong thing four there's our first and potentially even last armor i will ever make for these series because this stuff is going to last forever and i'll probably just make more of it whenever i need more armor i'm not a big armor guy if you haven't figured that out yet so um, i am going to need to smelt up some more materials and we're gonna have to double compress some obsidian which is crazy even though i do now have the stuff for it this is a little bit of a unnecessary grind type of um, activity right here, double compressing obsidian. Why? But since it was so easy, I'm not going to complain too, too much. While I waiting for stuff to process, I thought I might as well look at the other quests, and one of them is for this open blocks tank with an XP drain. This is basically just going to be a way for us to store our experience. It'll all go down in there, and we can make an experience shower at some point. Ooh, I can even eat some more of this and throw more experience in there and is that even a quest right now it doesn't look it is hold on xp shower and we can make it easy and we'll throw this on i don't know a side and we can step in and get our experience back and there we go a little xp shower just turn it on it gives you your experience back and if you don't want your experience back you just turn it off and step up 
right there. Okay, perfect. Uh, I should have a bunch of stuff processed, a bunch of this copper should be processed, and that looks like it is enough to go ahead and make the totemic knife. We can make these two blocks of copper, and then this knife, which will give me a trophy, I suppose. Very cool. Get rid of some of these bad boys, and anything special, no fireworks, no nothing like that for finishing the uh, chapter. Whatever, I'll take it. Nice, so start starting Totemic, it's gonna give us an Akashic Tome, which is super, super cool. And we're gonna need a Totemist Drum, which is made like this, I guess. This Akashic Tome is really cool because you can just put books in it and then pick which book you want it to be. If you don't want it to be the book, you just left click in the air, and strike, and it will go back to the regular Akashic Tome where you can check again. Anyways, uh, now that we've finished chapter one, I think I'm going to end the video off here and we'll come back next time and do chapter two. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully I'll do a little bit of building between videos, but we will see. I probably won't, but I'm going to say I, I want to. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>